Welcome back. And today we are going to see how the natural salt, that is the sodium chloride, the sea salt, acts as a preservative. The principle which is used to use salt as a preservative is divided into two parts. First, the property that is being used is the microorganisms which spoil the food, they cannot survive without water in their bodies or surroundings. So suppose this is the microorganism. In order to survive, they need water around them and also they need water inside their body. In absence of water, these microorganisms would die. So this is one first part of the property which is being used. And the second one is osmosis. What is osmosis? Take two solutions separated by a membrane. This is semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane means it will allow only water to pass through, only the solvents to pass through, but not the salts, not the ions of the salts. So only water can pass through. And as we know, if this is This part is higher and in this part is lower in concentration, the solvent will pass from lower to higher concentration. So that will be the moment of the solvent or water through the semi-permeable membrane from lower concentration to higher concentration. The motivating factor being that both the compartments should have equal concentration. Now how this principle works in case of preserving food. When we add salt to some food material as a preservative, the concentration of the salt around the body of the microorganism increases. It can be explained in this way. Suppose this is the microorganism and if we add salt around this so the concentration of salt around the body of this battery has increased what it will result in with reference to osmosis this is area of lower concentration this is area of higher concentration. Water, that is the solvent, will try to flow from lower to higher area. That is from inside, from inside the body of microorganism to the surrounding area. So what you expect to happen in that case as more and more water leaves the body of the microorganism the microorganism becomes dehydrated and becomes destructured this is the intermediate stage and finally it will be completely like this deformed 
devoid of water. Once the microorganism is devoid of water, it cannot survive and it dies. And that's how the microorganisms are not, not only able to survive but they are killed, they are destroyed and the food is preserved. So that's how we have seen that, how the salts, how the natural salt acts as preservative by using the principle of osmosis.